Hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel. In this video I will be talking about the gradient effect and how to apply it in your flutter application and I received a lot of requests regarding the gradient as to how to apply it to the background or any other flutter widget. So instead of just explaining about gradient and the types of gradient I will also be showing you um, how to apply it on the background or on the app bars, the chip, the card or the button. So I'm going to show you a little variations how you could uh, use it to achieve these effects. So this is one way of doing it. Another way is uh, I see that there is a plugin also available which is called gradient underscore widget and definitely it's a beautiful plugin you should try it and um, it has its own constraints also like I, I don't see an app bar here but definitely there are a lot of other things like progress indicator, button, card, text a lot of things so definitely do try this uh, library also so as of now uh, we will see how to do it in the hard code way uh, so I'll start up with the background first so let me clear up the template and we will start working on it well um, regarding the applying gradient to the background it's very simple here I have a very simple flutter application with a stack and a container now this container is of width and height which occupies the entire screen. Then you give a decoration and a box decoration property. And inside this, um, there is a property called gradient. And there are two types of gradient. One is linear gradient. Another one is the radial gradient. So in this, I'll cover first I'll cover the linear gradient part. And then we will move on to the uh, radial part. So when I say linear gradient, there are a couple of uh, properties that you need to uh, define in order to use this. So the first one is the color. So for the color I've used two custom colors here. Definitely you can have more than two. Um, and the next property is the begin property. And inside this begin I'm going to give alignment. And I'm going to give there are a lot of attributes like center left center so definitely feel free to try them and see how your gradient works and after this I'm going to use end uh, property and I'm going to say center right. Now when I use this uh, I'll build this and I'll show you and I'll show you how this begin and end works. So there you go I have built it on the emulator so I can see two colors here so this is the first and the second. And I say begin center left. So it says from the center it goes to the left. And then my another color takes from center to the right. So these are the two properties that defines the gradient structure. Next I can also mention instead of saying center right center left. I can also give some xy properties. Now what are these? All you have to do is give double values. And I'm giving minus 1 and minus 1. It's just that it's the graph rec representation of your x and y axis. So similar way you can add values and see how you want your gradient effect. Now I'm going to build this and uh, you can see the difference here. So instead of horizontal you would find a diagonal or oh, in this case it's uh, you could see that it's picking up like um, the first part first half of the screen is one color and then the bottom is another color so this way also you can do it and um, yeah so there is a couple of other properties also attached to this this is another one is called the tile mode uh, tile mode is nothing but it is um, it's the region before your begin and end point so when I explain this you will not understand it only when I show you through an example you will fi find it uh, you would get the concept a little more clearer so I'll cite an example then you can understand it. So there you go. Um, I've used the begin with center right and the end alignment point 3 and 0. And the tile mode you have a lot of tile modes. One is repeated, mirror, clamp. I've used repeated and when you do a hot restart you can find this it gets repeated with these two colors. Definitely you can add more colors to see a little more a different effect in it. 
So this is what the tile mode is all about. So this is about the linear gradient. Now moving on to the radial gradient, um, it's a little different with different properties in it. So let me show you the difference. So moving on to the radial gradient, all you have to do is just replace the linear gradient with the radial gradient. Colors of your choice, you can go two or more than that. Center with the alignments, same as the X and Y but it has a, another property called radius because you want to show the circle effect in this gradient effect so that's where you use the radius property now i'm going to build this and I'm, i'll show you how it looks so when you have more colors your gradients look more beautiful and you could see that effect also so as of now you can see that you can find a circle here and your other color is being um, uh, it, it it just spreads in the background so this way you could use radius. Well, there's another property called stop, which is used when you're using more than three, four colors to see your um, transition. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add here a couple of other colors um, just to show you how this uh, property works. So I'm going to use red, green and then red. Yeah. And... Um, also, I'm going to use a new property called stop. This is basically an array and it has values differ, it ranges from 0 to 1 and it has to be ascending. So I'm giving 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. So what it says is my first color ends at 0 0.3 and then it moves on to the next color which ends at 0 0.5, 0 0.7 and 0 0.8. So if you look at the... Um, emulator so there you go so you can see the difference in the color and how it's um, how you could see the gradient effect and um, and it also uses the points now 0.3 point 0.4 point so depending on that you find your uh, the spiral effect and similarly if you do change this to linear gradient you would find the horizontal lines with the colors so this is how the gradient works for your background where you could use single or multiple colors next i'm going to show you how to achieve this gradient using an app bar well the point here is i'm not using okay if you see app bar there are two ways of creating it well there could be more ways also but at the moment i know is two ways one is using the app bar class another one is which i'm going to show you in this video is to use a container of a particular height and then apply gradient to it so i'll clear the template and i'll show you how to do this all right. So as I mentioned, uh, usually whenever uh, we define um, the Flutter application, immediately before your body section, you try to add app bar and then define your app bar with the icons. So here what I've done is I've not used that. Instead, I've used a column widget with a custom widget here. So inside this custom widget, I've used a container. So this container is my app bar now with the height 70. So depending on the size of the app bar you want, you can define this height. And I'm giving the width as the screen width. Now, since this is a container, I can definitely use a box decoration and linear gradient. If you want, I can use even radial. But since my height is only 70, I cannot see that spiral effect in a app bar. Unless if it's the, occupying the entire background. So all I've done is used a container with a box decoration. And inside this, I've given the gradient with the same two colors. And then I've given a begin and end points. So that's it. So when I do this and inside this container, I've added few icons and text just to give that app bar effect. And if I build this, you could see how my container turns out to be an app bar now here. So I'm not using an app bar class here. It's a simple container. There you go. So you can see that this is a container and it's got this gradient effect and it still has this app bar and back button and my cart I can and I can still click on it and I can add functionalities to it so this is how you achieve gradient in your app bar next I'm going to show you how to do the gradient effect in your chip cart and button they all are the same uh, so I'm just going to walk through the code as to how to achieve this chip part because I've already covered creations of chip in my wrap video so if you haven't seen it i'll leave a link in the description so do watch the chip uh, video first and then you would you would have a better understanding as to how to create them 
and so I'll show you how to achieve this gradient effect in this. So let me clear up the code and we will start. Uh, I'll show you how it works. Well, if you see this center um, image, there are a lot of components in it, but I would be showing you how to do it on the chip. So there is a list view here and there is a button as well. So if you consider it as a list view, it's purely nothing but um, a list view with the scroll direction horizontal and it's a, it's, it's um array of containers. So as I mentioned in my background video, that is how to apply gradient to your background, there I did not give this width, here I'm giving a width. That's the only difference between your list view, applying the gradient effect to your list view and your uh, background. So here when I say width of 160 and then give a box decoration, it confines to that particular width and it appears as a boxes. And here you have these two colors with the begin and end point. So this way you have multiple containers. So you have that gradient effect. Now this is about the list view. Now moving on to the chip container. So if you if you have seen my wrap video, I would have shown you how to uh, design this uh, chip. So it's a custom function I'm using and passing the colors and the chip name. This is just for the demonstration purpose I'm using this. So if you go to the chip, I'm using a custom class so that I have to find my decoration, my gradient, my a uh, lot of other features about the button so that I don't have to define it inside this chip. So if you look at this custom class, it's nothing but a container with a width of 100 and height 30 so that I can have this size which is this width 100 and height 30. It depends on your chip. If you wanted a bigger chip with more details in it, definitely you can increase the size of the container. And then I'm passing the gradient values into it. Now, what are my gradient values? I'll show you how I've used it. So here, the, my gradient values um, are nothing but uh, the colors that I'm passing here. That's here. I'm using a linear gradient. This is my gradient value. So this is what I'm passing in my custom function with the color one and color two. So this way, um, I'm able to achieve that chip with the gradient effect, or you could simply use a container with a text and an icon inserted it and use um, on tap to give that uh, button effect. You can also do that if you don't want to use a raised button. So that's another way of doing it. So this is how you add um, a gradient effect to your chip. And I'll build this and I'll show you how it looks. So there you go. This is the chip component part. So I've um, used the gradient factors in this. And this is a list view. So you can see this is a sliding list view horizontal. And I've applied the same um, concept in this also with the container. And the similar way for the chip, I've applied it for the button as well. So this is how you apply the gradient factor or the feature or the effect to different components of your flutter. So I've used it in my app bar. I've used it in the background, the chip, the horizontal slider, which is the list view, and then the button. You can add it to your text. Even you can add it to your icons, border. Definitely play around with this and let me know uh, if you've added uh, the gradient effect to different components and what do you feel or if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. And um, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you like it. If you do, please give it a like and subscribe. And if you find this informative, please do share it. Thank you.